Hello everyone, welcome back to the Git Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, we are going to talk about gray code, which is very important topic of digital electronics. So, first we'll talk about the gray code. Thereafter, we will see the conversion of decimal number system into the gray code number, binary number system conversion to the gray code number, and at last, we'll talk about the gray code number conversion to the binary number and decimal number in the very short video of 10 minutes. So, we are available here to watch this video to learn about this concept of the gray code from gray code and conversion of the gray code with other number system. So, without any further delay, we talk about the gray code number system. So, gray code number is non weighted code. Gray code is called non weighted code because there is no significant weight for the each bit position. As we know, in the binary number system, we have weights like 8, 4, 2, 1 in the binary number system. But in the gray code, there is no significant weight for each bit position. That's why it is called non-weighted or unweighted code. Coming to the second point, it is called unit distance code because if we see the code, adjacent code or significant successive code, there is only change in the one weight from previous level to the next level previous value to the next value. So if you see 0 to 1, only G0 is changing from 0 to 1 and G1, G2 both are same. Any level we can check, let me check 4 and 5. In the 4 and 5, G0 is changing from 0 to 1 and G1 and G2 both are same. If we talk about 3 and 4, only value is changing that is G2 which is 0 to 1, G1 and G0 are same. So in the successive code only one way change that's why it is called unit distance code. So distance of successive code is only unit. That's why it is called unit distance code. And in this code we require minimum switching operation as we know because as we know we require minimum switching operation because there is only change of one bit in the successive code. If you see the example of binary code, binary code is representing to 3y011 and binary code is representing 4y100. So b2 is changed from 0 to 1, b1 is changed from 1 to 0, and b0 is changed from b1 to 0. So here in this code, there is change of 3 bit. But in the case of the gray code, there is only change of 1 bit. So minimum switching is required in each successive code in the gray code, but in the binary code, there is no significant number of switching, fixed number of switching. In some code, one switching is required. In some code, three switching is also required. So this is the advantage of gray code, like it's unit distance code. So uh, it is helpful in the K-map for minimizing the Boolean function. Now coming to the last point, which is the reflected binary code. What is the meaning of reflected binary code? Reflection, as all of you know, if you place a mirror in somewhere, we'll get the reflection on the other side. So we have a coding of gray code, G2, G1, and G0 just hide the g2 code and you see you place the mirror in the half samples like n y2 so how many samples we have eight in the three weight so upper four sample and mirror just above the below four sample so if there will be more mirror here we will get the same reflection as g1 and g0 in the opposite side because this one zero is replaced uh, reflected here this one one is reflected here this 0, 1 is reflected here and this 0, 0 is reflected here. That's why it is called reflected binary code. So first half value or first n by 2 value are compared with the last n by 2 value. So this is the overall general discussion about the gray code. Now coming to the binary to gray code conversion. So binary to gray code can be converted by two methods. One is the addition of binary bit. Another method is the conversion of binary to gray with the help of XOR gate. So, in this very short video, I have already discussed about the conversion from binary to gray by using XOR gate. So, this video is the pupil who is good in the binary addition. So, all of you know 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So, in this 1, 0, 0 is sum and 1 is carry. Fine. So let me see how we can convert any binary to the gray code with the help of this binary addition. So I'm taking one number 101101. 
I want to convert this number in the gray code with the help of binary addition. So now first we write the number at some distance 1 0 1 1 0 0 1. So this is the binary code. I want to convert this code in gray code. So first record the MSP as it is and take the addition of MSP with the next bit. So we will add 1 with the 0. Whatever sum we will get, we will record at the next level. 1 plus 0 is 1. So we will write here. Then take the addition of 0 with 1. Addition of this 0 with this 1. We will get the next weight. That is 0 plus 1 is 1. Now here we will take the addition of this number 1 plus 1. And here 1 plus 1 is sum is 1 0. So sum is 0 carry is 1. We will discard the carry and record the sum. So 1 plus 1 is sum is 0. Carry is 1 which is discarded. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. So this is the record which is the gray code. So I repeat this entire procedure. One is the MSB recorded. Take the addition of the successive bits like 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1, sum is 1, 0. So 0 is taken and carry is discarded. 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 0 plus 1 is 1. So this is the gray code for the given binary number. And we repeat this step until the LSB. Coming to the next code, that is the gray 2 binary. In the gray 2 binary, if I take the same number, let's see 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. If I take the same number 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 is in the gray code, we need to convert this at the binary. So binary will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This number is given in the gray code, we will convert in the binary. So record the MSP as it is, as it is mentioned here. So we'll write 1 for the binary number and add this binary MSV, add this binary MSV with the gray code next bit. So we'll add this one with this one and our result will be here, which is 1 plus 1 is sum is 0, carry is 1. So 0 is recorded and carry is discarded. Now we'll add this 0 with this one and our sum will be 0 plus 1 is 1. Similarly, we will follow the same procedure. This sum will be added with the next bit of the gray code. 0 plus 1 is 1. The next 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 plus 1 sum is 0. Carry is discarded here. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So we got the number, binary number, which is 1, 0, double, 1, double, 0, 1 for the given gray code number. And this same number we have given previously to convert binary to the gray code number. So we got triple one zero one zero one to convert binary number one zero double one double zero one and by converting the same gray code number we got the binary number so we have seen the gray code conversion from binary to gray and gray to binary so now if i ask the same number i want to convert in the decimal number system how we can convert this gray code in the decimal it's very easy method just convert the gray code in the binary and write the decimal representation of this number we will get the decimal number conversion from the gray code so how we can do this? 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. We'll use the weights for the binary like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. So this number will be 64 plus 16. It will become 80 plus 8 is 88 plus 1 is 89. This number in the decimal is equal to 89. So this number is given in the gray code which is equivalent to 89 in the decimal. So if I want to convert the decimal number in the gray code, how we can do that? Go in the reverse direction, convert first decimal number in the binary, then represent the binary number in the gray code as we mentioned in the previous slide. I hope this topic is very clear to you about the gray code conversion and uh, conversion from binary to gray, gray to binary and uh, decimal to gray and gray to decimal code conversion. So to learn such kind of the concept for your competitive exam as well as your university exam, please subscribe the channel, like the video and give the comment on the video.